Hello and welcome to video number eight. So just want to say congratulations on reaching the end of this video course. We're going to talk about a secret tip that you can use to outrank your competitors. So we briefly talked about why having a longer video was important, right? So one secret tip that we can give you is that what we have found that works is the following. Longer videos in the sense of live streams, which means you get on YouTube and you talk to people live, you have webinar replays, and videos where people expect them to be longer. So in other words, people are expecting these to be longer. If you make a normal video that people expect to be five minutes and you make it an hour, then you're not really gonna hit that 50%. But when you have a live stream or a webinar replay, usually people typically expect it to be at least one hour. So because people expect it to be one hour or longer, they expect to take time out of their busy schedule to actually watch your longer video. And what we found is these work really well compared to the average video. So let's discuss what you need to do in terms of software or even web applications that you need to create live streams and webinar replays. So in order to create a YouTube live stream, you're gonna need to have a broadcasting software. There are many, you can go to YouTube and type in live stream, how to set it up, and there's a lot of videos on that. But this is one particular one that we have used and that has worked really, really well for us. It's called Open Broadcaster Software, and it's free, best of all. And that is located at obsproject.com. So as you can see here, there is versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So it's simply as easy as downloading and you can start streaming. So the reason why you need this software is it basically what it does is it connects to the YouTube live stream system. And when you're ready, you click record and you're good to go. Now, I'm not going to go in depth on how to use this product just simply because there are so many different options and so many different ways of using it. Now, like I said, the tip is when outranking your competitors to have longer views, this is good for kind of a face-to-face -face talking head type long video. Now, if you want to use a camera, you can do that. If you want to do something like screen capture, meaning you're going to show your screen, then you're going to want to use something like GoToWebinar. And you can go to gotomeeting.com slash webinar to do that. Another tool that we have used, which as of now, it is free, and who knows, it could change. So GoToWebinar does cost money, but it's a nice way to kind of engage with people. So this is the route that I would go if you are engaging with people. If you're not engaging with people and you're simply doing screen capture, there is a tool called Use Loom. Let me show it to you. So useloom.com, Loom is essentially a Chrome plugin and what it does is it allows you to record your screen. It's super easy to use. In fact, it's super, super fast. It's so fast that you can literally start recording and within seconds when you're done, you'll have the video in hand. And you can download the actual video file to your computer really fast. So those are the three options that I would go to and really depends on the avenue that you wanna take. So like I said, create a longer video, but just don't create any content. Make sure that the content is valuable because you want to make sure that people watch all the way through, or if not, watch at least 